Hey everybody, so today I have my very last installment for my back to school series this year. I mean, it's pretty sad. We all have to go back to school sometimes, so I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my backpack this year. And I'm one of those lucky people that don't go back to school until early September. Um, I go back to school the day after Labor Day, which I think is... September the 4th, and I haven't even gone to orientation yet, my orientation tomorrow, so my backpack right now is full of all my school supplies, and if you haven't watched my school supplies haul, I will try to annotate it here and annotate it at the end for you guys, but um, so it's full of all my school supplies, I actually got um, other school supplies here to share with you guys also. But it also has some other fun stuff. So I guess without further ado, I'm going to share with you guys my backpack. So I have the Jansport um, teal backpack. It's the bigger one. I know there's a Jansport backpack with just two pockets with the, the big pocket and a little pocket in the front. This is the bigger one with five pockets. And I had a similar backpack to this last year. But last year mine was pink and like leopard and zebra but this year it's all teal because I wanted something that was a staple color I'm kind of obsessed with this color right now my room is slightly this color and I wanted something that I could use until at least my sophomore year in high school so I'm really excited for this backpack this backpack was really expensive it was $70 at Kohl's and that is really expensive I actually got it on a discount because I had like a 15% off or something. I got it for $62, which is still a lot. Um, my backpack last year was only $55, and this year it was $62, which is crazy. But I know Jansport has a lifetime warranty, and it will last you forever. So I have this little guy to share with you guys, and it's actually really, really heavy. But we're going to go ahead and hop right in. But first, I'm going to share with you guys this and my side pockets where you carry like bottles and stuff I have my Starbucks tumbler I really recommend bringing some sort of tumbler or a water bottle to school because I don't really like drinking out of water fountains because first of all the line can get really long and you have a certain amount of time to get to your classes and it's also a lot cuter and it's just more sanitary to drink your own. Um, so I usually would bring a water bottle, but I got this tumbler a couple, um, I guess like two months ago. And I love it and I drink water from it every day. So carry something like this if you're allowed to have water in your classes, which I am. So I have my Starbucks tumbler in there. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to work my way from the biggest... Whew, from the biggest pocket which is this one and then I'm gonna work all the way down to the smallest pocket so again I haven't even gone to orientation yet so it's full of my school supplies most of the ones you've already seen if you've seen my school supplies haul so the first one in here is my math binder and in here it this is the pink one it's the uh, New York City one that I got. Um, in here I have my pink notebook that's for graphing. It's all graph paper in here. And then I filled it up with a bunch of college ruled paper. And then that's what the back looks like. It looks super cute. And then the next one is my English binder, which is this really cute pattern. And then I put in here just a normal five star um, college ruled paper notebook. And then I have some other loose leaf in here. And a lot of you guys were wondering where this was from. And I got all my school supplies from Home... Not Home Depot, that's really weird. I got it from Office Max, so I got that. And then this binder, I don't know what, like, subject this is going to be for. I haven't even gotten my um, schedule yet. But this one is just filled with college ruled paper because that's the only paper that I write with and then I have two folders this one and this one and in there I just put in a little bit of loose leaf paper just in case I needed some I mean you always need paper for school and all people always ask you for paper so you need that and then I have three five star notebooks I have this one this one 
and this one. And then I got two other folders from Target because I just needed more folders. I only had two and I thought I would need more. So I got these ones which are really cute. This one has an owl in it and this one is just a big tree. And then this one actually is the same pattern as the blue one but it's in a notebook and it's wide ruled and I hate wide ruled but it was just a super cute pattern. I thought maybe I'd use it for like maybe doodling or something fun like that. So I got that. So that is all that's in my big pocket. And now I have another big pocket that's right here. So this is the first pocket and this is the second one. And in here I keep my emergency makeup bag. So if you watched um, a long time ago, probably like four months ago, I did a what's in my makeup bag video and this is the makeup bag I used. Um, in here I just have a few makeup products that I might need because I know I'm going to have um, physical education or gym, gym class for my freshman year at least for two out of the three trimesters. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys a few of the products that I have in here. So in here I have the EOS lip balm in Summer Fruit or something like that. And then, or no, that's in Pink Sorbet, what am I thinking? And then this one I have the Cherry Chapstick. I have a Revlon lip butter in Berry Smoothie, which I'm obsessed with. I carry this with me everywhere. I'm wearing it today. It's such a pretty color that's very universal, and it's also perfect for the fall. And then I have this NYC Smooth Skin Press Face Powder just to, um, excuse me, um, just to kind of set my face if it gets a little bit oily, even though I have a dry, I have very dry skin. Um, I like to carry a powder with me just in case. And then I have a little concealer. This is the Alme Smart Shade Concealer. I have a Revlon Eyelash Curler, which is always, always useful. I have a Revlon Lipstick in Icy Nude, just in case if I want to kind of have a nude lip instead of like um, this berry lip I have. So we have that, and then I have... An NYC eyeliner with a black one in one end and a purple one in one end, which is very useful. Um, if you want like a pop of color, you can use the purple, and if you want to keep it classic, you can use the black. And then I have the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Peach Satin. So that is everything that's in my makeup bag. And then I have this pocket right here, which I actually keep nothing in right now. And then now going into this pocket. I have my pencil box. Instead of having a pencil pouch, I opted for a pencil box this year. So it has this little thing. And then in here I keep um, all my pens down below and then my pencils up top. I have the extra erasers and also an extra, two extra things of lead. So I have my pencil box. And then I also have a, a another pencil pouch just in case if I need to clip this on one of my binders and it maybe I'll probably carry this in my math one because I'll need to put in my calculator in here. So that is everything that's in there and then the last pocket I carry my emergency girl supplies bag which every girl needs this. This is like a little cute um, pouch from Aerie and in here I carry just girl emergency products. I think you guys all know what I'm talking about. So that is it for everything that's in my backpack. My backpack is currently empty and I actually love this backpack so much. I'm so glad I found it. So that is everything that's in my backpack. I hope you guys have enjoyed my back to school series and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys!